So welcome back to the channel, guys. The Trex Graphite Wireless Headphones with Mic. You can find this at five below for $7. You know, the prices have increased over the years. Uh, what I'm gonna say is there is a major reason why I think that this headset is ideal, at least initially. I didn't tear the box open just yet because it has a eight hour battery life, believe it or not, two hours of charge. This is the stuff I'm talking about where headsets should have a decent battery life so you can actually use it. So with that being said, just so you guys know, the description, if you look, if hit the link in the description, or just hit the description, it'll actually show the timestamps so you can skip to the part that you wanna see if you don't feel like seeing the whole video. With that being said, let's get right into it and not waste any more time. So personally, I've always been a fan of Five Below products. Not that I can't afford more, but I do like the fact that there are stores out there that sell electronics for those that may not want the newest or fastest thing in the world. They just want to be able to, you know, just experience the wireless like anybody else without having to break an arm or leg. And, you know, they do a good job of selling products like that. Some are hit and miss. It is what it is. But unfortunately, you know, sometimes you got to take chances and the whole reason for channels like these is well not only for me to get you to my curiosity because i love buying electronics it's an excuse for me to make money off of it while i do it which is a plus but also to show you guys what to avoid so right off the bat these are the headphones i'll be honest with you oh my god that was cheap these feel very 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 cheap like when i initially just okay so they do snap in as you can see uh it, it does seem really hard for this to snap in you have to put a little bit of force behind it because it is a cheap product. I'm hoping that it's just this model that does that and not necessarily the other ones, but it feels like they just cheaply made it. But anyway, you have the cuffs right here. You have symbols, excuse me, left and right. On the bottom, you do have the USB, micro USB. This is the cord right here, just in case you guys are wondering what the micro USB is, now you know. So it's not USB-C. You do have the physical power button right here, which also looks like it doubles down as a play button so you guys can see that and there don't seem to be any other type of keys on this headset which is odd normally they tend to have buttons on the outside but it is what it is it's not life or death or anything like that but like i was saying before this actually has a total play time of eight whopping hours it takes about two hours to actually charge this bad boy and it has 40 millimeter drivers now what i will say about the drivers is, is don't be a lot of headphones have 30, 40, 50 millimeter drivers, but it really depends on the name brand too, because just because you see 50 and you compare it to another brand doesn't mean that it's gonna sound as good as something like a JBL or, or an Anchor product or something like that, or even a JLab product. It's gonna sound different, probably inferior if we're being honest. But if you're the average person, you just wanna talk on your phone, or you just wanna to listen to music here and there and travel, these might be for you. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and uh, turn them on so I can show you guys exactly how the sync process is and how long it takes to normally connect the headset. All right, so right here, let's see what's the power button right here. See how it turns on, you hold that, light comes on and it's already in pair mode. If you see a blinking red and blue like that, it's already in pair mode. All I have to do is just power it on regular and it automatically puts the headset in pair mode for those that may or may not know how to do that. And what I like about that particular feature is that back in the day when you had headsets, you had to basically manually hold the button for a certain amount of time in order to pair it, which could have been a real pain. And sometimes people have a learning curve and they're just not sure. There's nothing wrong with not knowing as long as you ask questions and figure it out. But here we are. So for you guys out here that may have lost the uh, instruction manual, I'm here to help you through this. They're called the TX BTH GRAP Graphite. So I'm going to go ahead and pair that right now. It's going to ask me at the bottom of the screen, do I want to allow context? I'm going to just say no and just pair regular because I'm just doing this for recording purposes. So with that being said, the headset is now officially recorded. You're good to go. That blinking red light is gone. I'm trying to just wait to see if it turns into a solid blue light or not. It looks like nothing is popping up. So here we go. Solid blue light. So it just goes that it's connected. You are good to go. It's that simple. You just power them on. You go to Bluetooth. You're done. You go to search sync it step one step two very plain and simple it's very vanilla you don't have to worry about anything extra in that aspect so with that being said we're going to do some music tests in real time and i'm going to let you know exactly how it sounds all right guys so right here just so you know the headset is still on i'm going to go ahead and put it on my head and play some good old music so if i sound like i'm talking a little bit loud it's because i have a headset on my head 
All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is play, let's see, we're gonna play some Resident Evil. Just so I can get an idea of how this thing sounds. Mm. Mm. Let, me, let me play something with a more upbeat. Okay. It's something that I actually made. But you can wait for the beat to drop. So far, it does sound a little cloudy, to be honest with you. I don't like that. Okay. Bass isn't bad. The bass is not bad on these whatsoever. But what I will say is the other instruments sound a little bit cloudy, a little bit underwater, like uh, like someone that has their hand over the microphone or over the speaker. I'm sure you guys have had your hand over a speaker before and it kind of sound like you can still hear the sound pretty good, but it sounds very, very uh, muffled. Let me just get let's do a little bit more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. OK, let's do the volume test real fast. Oh. All right, he definitely has some volume to him. Okay. So I think I have enough to do a, a proper assessment for you guys in terms of music. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, again, they're $7. So you get what you get for $7. Like I said, it is an eight-hour battery life. So that's the ideal aspect out of the situation so far because we still haven't did a voice test yet. We'll do that next. And a fit test. <laughs> and what I notice about this particular headset is that when I'm playing bass, the bass sounds fine. It's nothing to write home about. It's no Anchor. It's no JLab. It's none of those brands. I understand that, you know, it's five below, but I do have to have some type of standard of what I compare this to. So when I listen to JLab headphones, they tend to not have very good call quality, but their sound tends to be a little bit better than the average headset. It's still pretty low tier on the market of headphones, but they but they're, they're they do well enough and they're priced well enough where people can um, have them for long periods of time. They have like decent battery lives. This the, the bass sounds okay. Uh, when I heard the the piano playing, it was like do 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 do. It sounded muffled. Like I didn't even notice that part was playing until I had to actually sit down, stop talking, and I realized I was this is something that I made. And then I said, wait a minute. I made this and I'm not hearing certain instruments playing in the background. Like one of the beats actually has these like symbols and noises in the background. Like it's like these little noises that add effects to the actual song. And I really couldn't hear it. I had to pay attention and kind of drown out the other music just to be able to hear that. And I said, oh, so this doesn't do a very good job of let's say you have certain kicks. Let's say you have certain hats. Let's say if you have certain bass, you'll hear the bass. You'll hear the piano, you'll hear the guitar, you'll hear those things. But a lot of times those instruments kind of power out the other lesser instruments in the song. And I wasn't able to really hear everything until I forced myself to pay attention. Because remember, I made the song. So the fact that I made it and I completely forgot that certain things was in it because of how bad the, the, the how bad the quality of the headset was, made me realize, you know, it's not ideal for you guys out here that are doing music creation. It's not really ideal for you guys that even if you do video edits, like with just voices and things like that, um, it doesn't pick up very, very well, in my opinion. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It is a five below product. I do think I need to be a little bit harsher on these videos only because, you know, I'm coming from, you know, you could buy headsets for twelve ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, 99 and stuff. And, and though, granted, nineteen ninety nine and seven dollars is a huge difference you have to understand that this was not originally seven dollars that's why i'm being so harsh this is normally a fit 14.99 between 12.99 to 20 dollar product or maybe even 24.99 remember fye they used to sell a lot of these downtown uh these type of i home and and, and all these different uh, off brands whatever you want to call them and they were selling them for practically regular prices that you can get at best buy for other brands so, you know, even though it's $7 because they made it to a five below, that is not originally what they were selling it for. Now, again, I can deal with the cloudy music. That's not a problem for me. I can deal with, uh, you know, the background not being too clear. Like I said, it sounds like if I was to put my hand over the microphone lightly, like the music is there in my ear, but it sounds like it's kind of far away. Like it's not 
It doesn't have the definition that's necessary to make you feel what it is that you're listening to, if that makes sense. I know I'm not the best at describing this, but, you know, hopefully you, you normies like me <laughs> get what I'm saying. So with that being said, uh, I'll give it a five. No, actually, I can't even do that. I'll give it a maybe a three adjustable three or three or four or so out of ten. Five being average is a little bit below average for sound in that aspect. So let's go to hop into the next test. And that's going to be a fit test. And I'm going to talk to you guys while it's at your recording so we can figure out if it sounds good for audio. All right, guys, so right here, this is the headset, how it looks on my actual head. I am wearing the glasses, of course. And for you glasses wearers, believe it or not, this is actually comfortable. Now, the gla my glasses are actually really thick because of the shaft. And what I notice is that because of the cushion, it's not really pressing very hard on my head and I can wear these for a long period of time. What I will also say is if you just look at how it looks in general, on top of my head, it actually doesn't look bad at all. It fits well with the, the cushion right here. I don't have an issue with this whatsoever. It's actually pretty clean, pretty nice when it comes to the fill. Now, what you're hearing is audio actually coming out of this while I do a recording. And what I will say about that is I'll just leave that for you guys to judge whether you like it. If you think it sounds good, good for you, then that means that this is something that you can definitely use. So to kind of put this in perspective, now we did the fit test, how it looks, how it feels, things like that. I'm going to do a recording so you guys know about how this is going to sound if I did this straight audio. Not recording through a video recorder because that is a different audio than actually recording through like having a, a phone conversation. Not to mention that, you know, depending on who you're talking to, how good their signal is, that will determine the clarity of what they hear. But I'm not going to blame them right now. We're going to test this guy out and see again if it's ideal. All right, guys. So right here, this is how it's going to sound if I'm just having a regular phone conversation. So what I normally do is I actually use the video recorder on the device and then I end up screenshotting that recording when I'm done so I can put it in video format and this is how it's going to sound if you're having a conversation over the phone with someone if you're having a uh, you know a podcast or anything like that I thought you would use these for that but you do have the option to do so now unfortunately you don't have a 3.5 headphone jack there's nothing you can do about that this is strictly Bluetooth but it does have a whopping eight hours and that's more ideal for people that want to wear this for long periods of time it's for people that understand that, uh, you know, when you're watching a podcast, it could be anywhere between one to two to three to four hours. If you're watching the Joe Rogan Experience or Joe Button Network, whatever it is, you actually have enough time to watch your TV shows. And, and I like that aspect where it's a whole eight hours when it comes to tracks products at five below. For some reason, they love putting a better battery life in their headsets, which, you know, God bless them for that, because that's what we need. We don't need any more two to three hour battery life, and then it takes two hours to charge. We do need headsets that last longer and, and with competitive, affordable pricing. And this is one of those things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just close this video and see if this is ideal for, let's say, just everyday use. So to basically close up this video, um, what I will say is that this isn't a bad headset. Now, you heard the sound. I, of course, I went back into videos and I listened to the sound myself just to see, you know, how I felt about this particular headset. Because when I do these recordings, a lot of the times I'm doing it in real time. I never heard it. I have to go back, make sure that everything sounds good. And, you know, just do a real assessment after using the product for a minute to see if it's ideal for use. Now, like all five below products, I can't promise you or tell you how long it's going to work. Some people have bought products from five below and they broke it the next day. Some people had them for years to come. So it really depends on the product. It depends on how well you take care of it. Sometimes things malfunction, sometimes it doesn't. And I've got blamed by a couple people before. I can't believe you talked badly about this product. Like, listen, how I feel about something may be different than you. That's why I say take it with a grain of salt. I'm just letting you know my experience so that you can have an idea of if you think that this is ideal based on what you heard, buy the product. It's a $7. After taxes, probably seven something and some change under eight bucks. You get it, it's in a box. It will make a decent gift. You have wireless audio. It's foldable. You have padding all over, as you can see. Um, the problem with the foldable aspect, like I said, is that uh, it doesn't fold very well. Like it, the way it snaps in, it's kind of rough. It's a very rough headset, in my opinion. But again, at the end of the day, this isn't bad. It's not the worst thing I've seen. It's not the best thing I've seen. If we're talking about battery life, it's one of the best headsets that Five Below has because it is a whopping eight hours of battery life, which I sit in like every section of this video. Uh, the built-in microphone isn't horrible. It's it's doable. 
it's not professional. So if you're one of those guys where you're actually trying to have a professional conversation or podcast, or you're recording to yourself inside of your phone, you might be better off using your regular earbuds in that aspect or the actual phone speaker in that aspect because it's just not that good. But when I compare this to other headphones in the same class uh, class category, meaning five below in general, this actually sells. I don't have an issue with it. Um, comfortability is fine. I say comfort is about a six out of 10. It is above average, but because of the plastic sides, the whole bendable aspect right here where it's constantly snapping back in, uh, pulling it back and forth is actually pretty easy. So I give them that. Of course, you have the soft felt right here. That's pretty comfortable. I don't have an issue with it. What I suggest is if you are the holidays is coming up, and you're gonna want products to be able to sell to people. Not, I'm sorry, not sell to people. You want products to be able to give away from guests. And what I do every year is I buy things like this, I buy things like these, I buy all different types of headsets in general, review them and try them out. And then what I end up doing is making care packages of Bluetooth earbuds, Bluetooth glasses, high-end products, low-end products, and give that away for Christmas gifts for people that I know. And it makes my life a whole lot easier. So if they don't like one thing, they'll like something else. I just make sure that I give them enough where it's ideal. Doesn't mean that everything has to be from five below, but it's it's the thought that counts, right? Not everybody wants something exp expensive. Sometimes you just want something that works, does a job from point A to point B, so you could just toss it and be done with it. And these are definitely a tossable pair of headphones where if they break or something happens and they malfunction over time, you just go to the store and buy another one. It's $7, seven whopping dollars. So you can't go wrong with that. But anyway, like I say, like and subscribe, like always, um, we're definitely going to talk more tech in the future. We're going to try to change the way that I do things on the channel, make it a little more exciting for you guys that are interested in that type of thing, and just test the waters. Anyway, like and subscribe, like I just said, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk more tech in general.